Hey, it's the Fort Worth Play, Playboy. <laughs> and my Playboy's buddy. And welcome to our podcast where we discuss pickup, game, relationships, and... Sex, sex, sex! <laughs> and today we're going to talk about girls not necessarily being a slow burn. Yeah, you know that, that's a good way to put it. You know, and we're going to get right into it. So I was scrolling Twitter. I know it's very rare. And, and I came across <laughs> a girl that was recommending... Like 45 minutes of foreplay before a woman's really ready for intercourse. And I was I was shocked, you know, to, to say the least. Because, to your core. Yeah, I know what's <laughs> normal and I don't know what, you know, and, and I was like, and here's the thing I do know about like information and information products. Yeah. Is there's a high risk of bad information can be harmful. You know, and I mean, that's like when somebody reaches out to me and they're like, hey, this is happening in my marriage and we've been married for, I'm not a good marriage for 30 years guy. Right. Yeah. You know, uh, yeah. Yeah. I try not to advise anything that I actually don't have intimate knowledge of or experience or you would, you know, be, I don't feel competent. And this younger girl giving out this information, which is cool. But it's very misleading because a lot of guys will see that. Yeah. You know, and they go, well, it's going to take a long warm-up, you know, and I yeah. need to do a lot of foreplay. And you hear this a lot. In fact, you used to hear a lot more. Right, you know, right, right. Um, it was very, you know, women need a lot of warm-up and a lot of foreplay. And, of course, I... In and out of the bedroom. In and out, yeah, of course, yeah. you know. And, there's always and that's, the, the chore man. And that's where you start getting chore play and all that horrible yeah. stuff that actually does not... It works against you, and that's where... Bad information. Exactly. So. But when you brought this to me, I said, I said, well, of course she said that. She just checked off a marriage and checked off a baby. And let's talk about, because for guys that don't understand. Yeah. How this works. And you can relate, if you've even just dated, how sexual a girl will be the first six to 12 weeks. And then she'll start tapering it off. Normally, not exactly. all, but some or most. Mo- you know. I would say I would say most. They kind of go on a pretty standard issue timeline. Yeah. But this girl in particular was filling the timeline perfectly. So girls have kind of baby fever, and they but they need a man, they need a husband, so that they can have the baby. And whenever you brought it to my attention, I said, well, of course, because she just had the baby. Because not two years ago, the same girl was hot and heavy about sex, 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 super, you know, super talking about a lot of sexual stuff, slamming her up against the wall, all, all kinds of avenues of of hot sex play. Fast in- insemination. Yes. At the end of the day, yeah. It's fast insemination and often. Exactly. Then she got married. And then we find out she's pregnant. Now she's had the baby. So now she's more of a, you know, slow burn. Sex isn't always about penetration. You don't always have to have sex. You know, just snuggling is a nice thing. Things of that nature. Now, in about another year, year and a half, when she's ready for another baby, it'll be back to slam me up against the wall if the children, you know, are napping, we're fucking, Let's... all that kind of talk. So a woman's, I think, I think maybe the, one of the biggest blinders that men have is, especially men in relationship, is how a woman's sexual desire, normal women's sexual desire, ebbs and flows with kind of her plan. Exactly. Her family plan. She's not doing this consciously. Right, yeah. This is completely... That's an important thing to point out. Unconscious. Yeah. And And I would pose that if you were to mention, you know, we used to... I was a different person. I was. I, I don't would, know. That I was. Know. I was different. Then. I was different then. We just gotten together. I mean. Yeah. She truly believes what she's saying. Yeah. And has no idea that it's changed, or what, or that it will change back. And any guy that's been married, <laughs> and had any type of, you know, difficulty. And I mean by difficulty, I mean you didn't get her pregnant on the first try. 
Yeah. From that point on, it's you're fucking every time she's in that window. You right, know? right. And it beca- it literally becomes a chore. like a chore. It's a work. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it's the only time I've ever felt, and not in a negative way, but I thought, <laughs> Where's I've, got to, I've got to go in there and get this done, you know? <laughs> I mean, it's funny, but it's true, you yeah, know? Yeah. I mean, I'm, I'm sure I got over it. <laughs> You know, I wasn't. <laughs> you, you I wasn't more, too traumatized. You had more kids, exactly, right? it all worked out I after think all. You did it, but it's very mechanical. <laughs> you know, yeah. you definitely feel like a machine. And, you are uh, a machine. Yeah, but that's where bad information. And all women are different. Yeah, that's the thing. And that's like when we talk about slut tales, that sort of thing. You truly can't tell how a girl is until you actually get the clothes off and you know have sex with her. Yeah, you know, and then it's also over time. Yeah. You know, because how a girl will be the first couple times is going to be different. Than, oh, completely. You know? Completely. So, you don't know. But the 45-minute thing, she was she meant it, and she meant it from her heart. Yeah. But it's because of where she's at right now. Yeah. Which makes it, it's uh, misleading. Right. At best. Because we know that girls can be zero lead-up time, can need zero lead-up time, or they can need... 45 minutes. Some girls need from like the time they walk into the hotel. Yeah. To the walk down the hall, into the room, the clothes are off, they're fucking. Yeah. That, that's all the foreplay they need. That's you genuinely know? their arousal. Yeah, point. that's the driving over with their foreplay. Yeah. You know, so. Because it's the anticipation is enough to get her so charged up yeah. that she actually is, the desire is high. Yeah. But I think that this research had as much to do with, even though she, I feel like she was kind of disseminating the research in kind of a, like you say, like a little bit of a skewed way or, yeah. or a misinformation kind of way. I can see, I've seen research from 20 to 45 minutes where that's where a woman kind of reaches a peak orgasmic level. So... That doesn't mean that you have to spend 45 minutes of foreplay or that she's not going to be willing to have sex until you've performed oral for 20 to 45 minutes or something like that. You can still get in there, get some sex play going. I think that that's a huge misunderstanding that men have is that sex play has to be penetration or has to be oral. There's all kinds of just kind of fun ways to play sexually that gets a girl going. And if you want to, the best advice we can give you is don't talk to her about it. Yeah. She doesn't want to talk to you about no. it. She won't talk to you about it. And for a lot of girls, it just makes them shut down. It's just true. Just try things. Yeah. Try things. Because that's the thing that we do know, too, is like women in the moment or in the situation will move much faster. But girls... Average girls yeah. do not want to talk about sex. No. Some will, but the vast majority won't. Or they'll give you bad information. They'll give you the information they think you want to hear. Or yes. what their mother would, they would want their mother to overhear. You know. I think that's a huge factor, especially with girls on Twitter. is, Or, or any girls on social media, I would say, talking about sexual topics is they don't go... F- they don't, they're either OnlyFans girls or, you know, who, like, are just feeding a coke habit, essentially. Or they're the girls who want to talk about sex and relationships, but don't want to go so far as to offend if their mother found out, if their grandparents got online. Their kids. If their kids saw it, something along those lines. These these are deep-seated resistance, and that's completely understandable. Which is why they will always stop just short of actually saying the real truth. It's true. Which gives you, like, incomplete information. It's, yeah. it's not always healthy. Yeah. But we wanted to share this information because we found it fascinating. We want you to have the best information for your own sexual health and for the sexual health of your relationship. And we want, we know, we want you to be successful with women. Yes. And women love a man who just gets it. Yeah. And a lot of the stuff that we talk about that doesn't necessarily, you know, direct from game, but it gives you knowledge of girls and how they operate. You become one of those guys who just gets it. You and just, it's very, yeah. And girls are like, you know, I don't know what, 
but man, he just gets it. Yeah. And, you know, I mean, that's what they're looking for. Yeah. You know. Yeah, it's better if you don't talk to her about this stuff. Yeah, you just, and, and then you become, you appear to be more suave. Oh, then you, yeah. You know what I mean? He, he just kind of like led me the way. He, yeah. He just tried some things and I, I didn't even know I liked it. And I was losing my mind. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't even know I liked it. Yeah. That's what you hear a lot of times. And I've know? never come so hard. Exactly. I love it. Or nobody, so many times. Because somebody wanted to talk to her about it first. Ugh. And then they wonder why she only comes once and then it's or like, are long. you done yet? Yeah. yeah. You can overcome a lot of those things just by doing what you want to do. Yes. And trying things and you don't you don't ask for permission. I love they it. don't want you to ask for permission. No, they don't. Yeah. They really don't. Yeah. They really don't. They'll even say it. they do. Yeah. yeah, yeah then they don't. <laughs> it's a test. If you like this podcast, please like, subscribe, share with your friends, and tell us of stories in the comments below where you've had experiences like this where what they say and what they respond to are two completely different things. We want you to win. Bye!